We're now at the third part of the lesson, 12.1c, and we're going to construct a tangent to a circle at a point. And the two previous parts to this lesson, 12.1a and 12.1b, are linked in the description if you need them. We talked about tangents and concentric circles and tangent circles. To make this construction, we're going to need a compass and some type of straight edge, either the straight side of the protractor or a ruler. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a point like this and we're going to draw our circle with a compass. We're going to locate a point on the circle and label it Q. The second thing we're going to do is use our straight edge and draw ray PQ from the center point through Q and we'll draw that ray. The third thing we do is construct the perpendicular line L to ray PQ at Q. And the way we do this is we put the compass point on Q and we make a little arc. Keeping it at the same setting, we make another little arc below it and from the intersection of those arcs and ray PQ, so putting our compass here, we're going to make a little arc here outside of circle P. We're going to put it here and make another little arc like that. And you can see video 3.4C. I'll have it linked in the description of how to construct a regular perpendicular line without having circles. And I'm sure some of you have figured out by now if we use our straight edge to draw line L through that intersection that we made and point Q, we now have L, which is tangent to circle P, at Q. For the last part of 12.1, we're going to talk about circle graphs, and then we'll move on to 12.2, which is about arcs and chords. So it was fairly easy to construct a tangent to a circle at a point and get your compass, get a straight edge, see if you can do this. I'll see you next time. Bye.